Greetings and salutations, YouTube, the World Wide Web. But what's up? What's happening, guys? As y'all can see, man, it's your host with the most, Paul Plan Two, on a Paul Plan Tuesday with a brand new video. So I'm thinking of either making a dedicated Paul Plan Two gardening slash landscaping slash growing your own food channel. Or I'm thinking about just dropping a video every week on this channel on Tuesday, updating you guys. Y'all let me know what you guys would like to see, and I shall do it. But today, I am building a compost bin from scratch. I'm tired of throwing out all my food waste, all my leaves, and letting the city take it, and then not giving me any product in return. So yeah, man, as part of my movement to reuse and recycle, whether that be clothes, furniture, in this case, is gonna be food scraps, and turn them into some nutritious soil for my plants. So without further ado, man, we're gonna start right now building a compost bin from scratch, let's go. So believe it or not, I started this compost bin out of some two by threes I found in the trash. Don't believe me? Just watch. Oh, we got some two by fours, which I also need. So uh, I'll be redeeming these right now. So the first step was to cut the two by threes 42 inches long, and I had to make about six of those cuts, bruh. So here are the two by threes chopped down. I need three for each side of the bin. So there they are. Now also to complete the size of the bin, I bought some cedar fence planks that were non-treated, organic AF. I got two eight footers, about $5 a plank, and I got two 42 inch long cuts out of these bad boys. Hell yeah. Then I just used a pencil to mark 42 inches on those eight foot boards so I could go mass production mode and cut a ton of those fence planks. Once all the fence planks were cut, I put them across the two by threes and I drilled them in with some deck screws. And of course, what you do on the top, you have to do on the bottom as well, baby. So I just screwed those puppies in there all nice and deep like. Then I returned to the saw and I cut four more planks for each side. With the planks in hand, I just laid these dudes down on the little two by threes I cut and I just eyeballed the spacing until it looked delicious in my opinion. And then I just screwed these puppies right into their final resting place and I loved it. Now, as you guys can recall, I cut three two by threes. So this one I'm spacing about an inch from the other one. That way I can slide the front facing planks in between this crevice and crack and easily remove them if I so desire. So I'm just screwing this puppy in place and trust me, this will make a lot more sense once y'all see the final product. All right, now once I have both sides done, I carry them to a corner portion of my yard. That way the compost bin will be a little separated from the rest of the landscape yet still close enough to the kitchen to deposit those food scraps. Then I cut six more of those cedar fence planks, 42 inches, and screwed them to create the back side of the bin. This finally added some much needed structure and made this look like a complete form. Now, unfortunately, once I got to drilling, my battery died and it got super dark outside. Shout out Daylight Savings said no one ever so i completed this puppy the next day so once all the screws were in place i jumped over the compost bin and you guys can see the front is shaky and very unstable so i had to rotate the bin in order to access the bottom side and the next day I screwed in some treated wood just so it wouldn't rot on the bottom to give this whole bin some structural support on the front and the back, bruh. Next, I tumped over the compost bin so the front side was facing up and I screwed in some one by four pieces of pine just to clean up all the edges and have it looking nice from the front facing view. All right, so then, last but not least, bruh, I rotated the compost bin, slid on top of some cardboard to prevent any weeds from popping up around the edges, 
and I slid in some slats. Now these were 41 and a half inches long, so I could slide them down once I got my technique correct, that is. But I told y'all, this is why I put two two by threes next to each other with a crack in between, was to add a nice front to the bin. Now finally, finally, I screwed in some more wood planks on the top just to stop any rain from going directly down the pine two by threes. So the cedar is just a little bit more water resistant and overall, it just cleans up the edges, bruh. So now that the bin looks lovely, the real question is, how do you compost and where do you get the materials, bruh? From my neighborhood. Because people don't realize that this organic matter is what fertilizes their soil. So this looks like a good mix. It's like grass clippings and pine cones and leaves. So that's perfect. perfect. But what's even better is what's beneath the trap door. Yeah, man, so I got hella greens, hella browns, and someone threw out a full flower display that I'm gonna put in my house for the time being until it fully dies. Then I'm gonna compost that as well. But yeah, dude, just driving around my neighborhood, we got tons of organic material to fertilize my garden. So with those bags, I dumped them all into this area right next to the compost bin in order to make sure there was nothing crazy in the bags and so I could get a nice carbon to nitrogen mixture. So carbon are brown leaves, nitrogen are anything that's green. So you want about 30 parts carbon and one part nitrogen. And right now I'm just shredding everything really small to speed up the process with my electric lawnmower. You guys don't have one, you need to get one. Next, I threw everything into the compost bin and it was as simple as that, my guys. Now it's just a process of waiting, but to speed up that process, I threw in some of my dog shit right in the middle of the compost pile to help kickstart all the bacteria and interactions to break down this material, bruh. And all right, guys, there it is. The compost bin is complete. Hopefully y'all did enjoy this video. I hopefully got the ratios right on the mixture, but ultimately, man, I just want to share doing this with you guys. Y'all can do this on a small scale in little trash cans. Y'all can do little rotator bins. You can just throw shit on the ground and let it decompose. Whatever you guys feel like doing, it is better to reuse those scraps instead of just throwing them in a the landfill with all types of other random garbage. Keep the nutrition and organic matter on your property. Get some plants, help improve your air quality in your house, outside your house, or wherever you guys live. Maybe it's a cardboard box, whatever. <laughs> I ain't here to judge, bro. But yeah, if you enjoyed, please smash a like on this uh, video. And also, let me know if you guys want me to just make a whole different channel for this stuff, or if you would like some of the content to live on here. I really am thinking about making another channel just going full ham and in-depth with plants. But also, I want to broaden y'all's horizons to those people who really would never think about doing this in the first place. So, y'all let me know. Anyways, I'm locked, I'm loaded. Until next time, I'm out. Peace. Sleeping a bloody life, I roost And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.